Hello, looking to the most popular Matrix Gold tools, this week we will talk uh, about Gems tools. You can find them under the Gems tabs, here as you can see. Today, in this video, we'll talk about Gems on Curve and Gem List on Curve, that are these two guys here. So, let's start with the Gems on Curve. To show you, I will use probably a profile, a suburban rail, and I will select and I will go to the Gems on Curve. So, the Gems on Curve. As you can see, now I have all the curve filled with gems. This is because here I have the start position and the end position. So this is very important because if you want to go from 0.75 to 0.25, you will have just one half. So very important to place the stones here. What options do you have? You can either with the handles or with the sliders that we have here, we can change. Let me just move them more up to here. I will get them position so I can show you. So from here, you can do many, many things. You can work on the space between the gems. You can roll them. You can angle them. You can do anything you want. You can move them up. And also, you can just say if you want them through the girdle, if you want them to the table. Now they are a bit higher because I just moved this. Or also, you can go to the gems placer and to the coolet. So that would be just here. There is also a lot more different options. So. If I want to make them taper, I can click on taper. And now, as you can see, I have taper in the middle, right? But also what I can do is just do the taper end. So I go here and I just do the taper end. Depending on what spacing method we have, we'll get different results. All right, so something that it's also very cool is that just say that if I put more gems here, I will take off we, if we are happy with this distance, if we like the, this gem size, so everything is correct, what I can do is just, let me just put looking down, so gem orientation, looking down, and now if I draw another curve, what I can say is edit, and now I want them in this curve. So I will get the same curve, the same method in this curve. Right, so this is something that it's very, very convenient. And as you can see, you have many options here for sizes. You can select many different sizes, so you have plenty. So you can select different cuts, also different shapes. So you have many, many different shapes that you can choose from just to help you with your designs right so this is one the other one that we have let me just get rid of this the other one that we have is the gem list on curve so if you have very very particular gems you can select the curve let me just also gems orientation down and now from here i can start to play with the gem list on curve so i can set up any size so as you can see here i have now this size now i will add as many as i want so from 1.6 i want two now I will get another one, 1 1.5, I will save it to at least, and the one with 1 1.5 I will go for, for, and then I have just say 2, 1.2, I will go to end the size list, and on this one I will be more particular, because the stones that I have just say that are 1.35, so I will go, I will unlock the lock, and I will go for 1.35, 1.35, here we will just play 62 to keep the symmetry, save gem to the list, so now I have 1.35, and I will add another one. So now I have this uh, gem list on curve with these gems that I can set up how many, the exact size, everything. Again, if I want, I just need to change and add it here. So now I have the same size, the same list, sorry, on this other curve, right? So this was the gems on curve and the gem list on curves. 